Now, what if instead of using that meaningless piece of construction paper, we were to use a piece of paper that means more to us than any other piece of paper in the world? The Bill of Rights. The first 10 amendments of the Constitution, including my favorite amendment, the First Amendment. It's the one that guarantees not just everybody in this room, but every single person in the United States, every citizen, every visitor, every magician, freedom of speech. It's the one that says that we want to add a little bit of uh, spontaneous combustion to our simple vanish. We can do that. We can take a, some tinder and a very eccentric magic wand, and we can do this. And it's OK. Because even though the flag is gone, the Bill of Rights remains. Did they just burn an American flag in the White House? Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Penn Gillette. This is Teller. Hi, I'm Josh Lyman. How you doing? He doesn't talk. Doesn't talk like Harpo Marx or really doesn't talk. What's the difference? OK, how did you do the flag trick? <laughs> We're not going to tell you that. Fine. So if Annabeth goes out there and says that you did not burn a flag last night, no one can refute that. Except the 100 people who saw them burn a flag or think that's what they saw. You tell me, Charlie, did we burn a flag or did we just banish a flag in a patriotic flash of fireworks? Don't know. What's the difference? Well, there's a big difference politically. Why? I mean, what if we burned a flag not in protest, but in celebration of the very freedoms that allow us to burn a flag? The freedoms that everyone who has ever worked in this magnificent building has pledged to preserve and protect. Did you go to law school? No, clown school. 